And welcome back to another PlayStation of Oregon Trail. With your only Silly Moose. <laughs> Alright, so last time we left off, we um, we lost a lot of bacon, sadly. And uh, we made it to the Garden Grove Way Station, which is apparently in the middle of nowhere. And uh, let's see, we could rest for about a day or two. Let's do two days. There we go. Alright, morale's so high. So we're getting some clouds in the sky. Let's see who's around. I always take some time every few hours to look over the sky carefully. My grandma taught me all the signs for predicting the weather. Tell me more. Well, I imagine you'd know by now how much the weather has to do with our well-being. It's important that we try to stay one step ahead of it and make our plans accordingly. Always keep aware of the weather. What it was yesterday, what it is today, and what it's likely to be tomorrow. I keep a record of it in my diary. Nothing will have a greater effect on the success of our journey than the weather. You didn't tell me a single thing about the weather, though. Thanks for the help. <laughs> Don't waste your time on these penny ante stations and trading posts. They got next to nothing. And what they do got, they try to cheat you over. <gasps> Is that so? <laughs> Alright, I guess we just keep going on then. Probably cloudy. That's not gonna, that's not gonna stop us. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's rainy. It's gonna get muddy on the trail. Yeah, I guess we'll surrender here as well. Let's visit the station. See what you got. Some more bacon. Probably some more dry bread. Lots of dry bread. Hmm. <laughs> Just got like two lanterns. Uh, a couple blankets. Even though it's kind of hot around here, but you know, you never know. Let's grab all your blankets. Yeah. So I'm guessing we can't sell, we can only trade. And we can't trade at these posts. We. Oh man. Alright. Ain't got no need to stop here. It is going to rain. Or oh, actually, it's raining. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> the wrong accent. All right, let's do someone else. Let's stop here a while. I'd like to see what they have here. Don't waste your time on these penny ante stations. Penny ante, Baba. I sure would like to stop here for a bit. I could use some fresh supplies. That just doesn't sound like you. This may be our last chance for a while to buy or trade for supplies. I can't trade. What's going on here? Let's go to the station. Uh, how do I trade? I can buy, but I can't trade. Hmm. Okay, we're all doing well. How do I trade? Got no bullets, miscellany. Hmm. Tools, utensils, hunting knives. Use a couple of those. Water kegs. Still can't trade. I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh, cool. I can do. Oh, okay. I have three. Nah, one pair of pants is not gonna cut it. We haggle. Came for now. I'm fine. All right. So that's how we do all our, our good things. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and rest here. See if we rest out, uh, wait out the rain. There we go. Hmm. Go ahead and rest out one more day. All right. Let's get going. Let's go hunt. What? I have a gun. Or did I lose that? Dang it. <laughs> Can we go fishing? I only have gear gathered. Come on. Okay, standing lion. 
see some wild raspberry I think and these two other plants I have no idea of um oh salsify okay which edible blah 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 oh here guess we can keep this uh, let's see what this is about yeah raspberry what do you know got a little bit of pioneer in me <laughs> ground cherries all right, let's take that. We'll leave make milkweed alone. Oh dear, okay. Uh, let's see who's around. We should ford this river. Last time I listened to you people. <laughs> I fell. I lost my bacon. What are we waiting for? Let's cross. So just take the uh, the ferry just to be safe. I think we should cross the river now. Oh, demanding. This river doesn't look too deep. Let's ford it. Not gonna risk it. You know, this riverbank makes for a good rest in place. Let's rest here a time before... We rest for no people. Okay, let's, uh... Check out what the condition. Oh, three and a half feet. Uh, might prove a little tricky, though. I don't have any ropes to change, by the way. So I'm guess... Oh, is that what caulking the wagons? I don't know. Let's go ahead and just take the ferry. Yeah. All right, morale's still pretty good. Oh, it's a need town. Oh boy, Let's see what's around. We should conduct our business here and be on our way. Okay. Do you want to trade? I have cornmeal and other types of food. Tell me more. My name is Naomi. I'm of the Muscutin clan of the Potawatomi. Never heard of that before. I've seen many of your people moving westward on this road. About 50 miles from here is a large town, bigger than this one. If we don't have what you need here, maybe you can find it there. Let's see what you have to trade. Paddle coffee beans, or... And I have 20 10 pounds of coffee bean, or I have 20 pounds. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I have 20 10 What? Oh no, she has... Oh, okay. Hmm. I hate how I can't look at my own inventory. The coffee beans are kind of hard to come across these days. What? Two five pounds, ten crackers. Yeah, I guess I'll settle with that. Whatever. Look at someone else. Oh, same people. Let's go visit the settlement. Howdy. How? Howdy. Why are you saying howdy? That's not. That's not the language of your people. <laughs> At least you're trying to uh, adjust and fit in, right? That's nice. You want to trade? I have cornmeal and other types trading. of food. I need some. I need some guns, yo. Oh, music though. Hey, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, let's. Ah, oops. Let's get out of here. Uh, it's rainy, so rest for a day. It's still rainy. Me behind schedule. Come on. All right, let's go. Oh, coyote. A coyote. Canesville. Is this the place I was talking about? I said into town. Yeah, it is. What do you know? Livestock. Let's talk. Have you bought the supplies you need yet? If not, you'd best hurry. Are you behind schedule? Don't tell me to hurry. <laughs> Let's go back. Does it say like how we're doing or anything? No, maybe. No, it does not. All right then. Uh, wagons, the bugle, something I can't get into. Uh, gunsmith. Take all my money. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's go ahead and get that uh, one. Uh, that'll do. I'll grab some more ammo while we're at it. And gunpowder. Alright. The clothing emporium. Yo, regular groceries. We seem to be doing good so far, I think. 
Seems that bacon's like, like our main protein here. Hmm. 100 pounds is like... Six bucks? What? You can't get a pound for bacon for six bucks. Not these days, anyway. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and grab some more biscuits. Uh, butter. I don't need to buy too much of that, because that goes bad pretty soon. Um, I don't, I don't know if they do like spoiled like food in this game or not. Let's get a lot of celery. Uh, yeah, we're good. Excuse me, friend. You appear to be making ready to head out west. Do you know of any people who are still in the process of forming a wagon train? Oh, I'm the captain of a wagon train. My husband and I, he's off buying supplies, are looking for a nice group of people to join in our move west. No, they're never talking to you before. you and I both ought to find yeah, a goodbye. wagon train. A two All right. Howdy, stranger. It looks like you're fixing to head out west, too. Fine opportunity for people with the gumption to do it. The gumption. Uh, look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> we brought a few personal items with us, but we're hoping to buy our foodstuffs and fresh animals here. But I ain't too sure exactly where to go first. Give it advice. Don't devote any great portion of time to pack in your wagon till you bring in all your supplies. We're planning to pack up the wagon whilst we're waiting. Mm. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Ten crackers. Oh no, those were kind of pricey, weren't they? Have you decided the best time to leave yet? What do you think? Well, some leave real early to get a jump on the other wagons and to give themselves plenty of time. But then there may not be much grass for the animals and you may run into spring snows. It's best not to leave too late either. Then you may not make it all the way before the winter snows hit. Oh boy. I'd recommend leaving in April or even early May. We left in June, I think. Yeah. Let's go ahead and check out the stables. See any supplies for the animals. We got eight oxen. Uh, I don't know what we need bales of hay for, but we'll go ahead and get like plenty. Let's grab five. Uh, Good day to you, friend. I'm new here in town. I'm making ready to head out on the trail west. Howdy. Ah, so you're doing the same. Well. Maybe we can link up with the same wagon train. I wouldn't start out with less than, say, 400 pounds of food per person. Of course, per how person. much you can take depends on how big your wagon is and how many draft animals you've got. Alright, so long. Hmm. The saloon. Oh, I can't get in the saloon? What? Hello. I see you're fixing to head out west, too. My husband's all raring to go, but I must say I have Heard my that apprehension. One before. Whoa, look at that mustache beard combo. All right, um, they don't have a lot of them. Looks like I could use some more of that. Uh, hmm. Let's get some aloe vera. Whatever that is. Someone's been drinking my brandy. Or did I lose my brandy? I don't know. All right. No, 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 go into town. I want to go, yeah. Uh, I think that's all I need, really. Let's check out, uh, we got enough spare parts. That's good. Uh, U.S. troops withdraw from Mexico City. So I guess we're in the Spanish-American War? Or is that later? I don't remember my history. <laughs> Alright, let's go up and, uh... No, stop doing that! Oh my god, okay. Let's do one more and look through of our supplies or food, and then we'll get going. Guys, said 400 pounds of food per person. Oh, okay. Well, I guess you don't count for that. All right, I think we're good. Let's get going. I'll rest here. We don't go on to get into that money trail. Come on. Is it money trail all day? Oh no, it is. I guess it's always fun here. Right, let's get going now. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's who's around. What are we waiting for? Let's cross. 
If you ask me, this river is much too deep to ford. Looks fairly deep to me. I say we float across. Good day to you folks. My name is Philip Maddox. I'm an artist with this surveying expedition. Howdy. The U.S. government has commissioned us to map the land and to bring back some illustrations of the Indians, as well as the plant and animal life hereabouts. Check your supplies often. Can't stress too much the importance of that. And don't waste a whole lot of time hunting. At least if it isn't an emergency, you won't get much, you'll delay your progress, and you risk antagonizing the local Indians. Oh no. All right, let's see if we can trade bullets. Uh, ooh, quinine, I could use that. Yeah, let's use some, let's get some quinine. Quinine. What, four ounces of 15 pounds of lard? No way. Okay, that sounds like a better trade, I suppose. God dang, hang on. Eleven bucks. Man, this guy's just trying to shortchange me right here. Hmm. <laughs> What's he gonna do with three bales of hay? <laughs> Two hundred twenty-one pounds of bacon. What? Dude, come on. I think every time I change it, it seems to like change up the uh, things as well. Yeah, it does. Oh my gosh, four oxen. That's insane. Yeah, forget you. I don't. I don't need you. You're dumb, Quinnin. Something gets small here. Oh, they'll sleep it off. Okay. What are we waiting for? Yeah. Let's cross. Let's take the ferry. Ooh. Can we go fishing actually? I wanna try this fishing oh wait, I don't have fishing gear, do I? Nope. Uh, okay then. Oh, let's see if we got the trade. Bonnet's bacon. Uh the kitchen cupboard. What? Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh dear. It's poison. Alright, we'll keep that. Black mustard. Well, the leaves need them like spinach. Alright, we'll keep that as well. See what we got here. Alright. And this will throw out. Yeah! I mean, can anything really bad happen when you're in a ferry? Because, I don't know. Maybe later in the game, they'll all start charging you. All right, a lot of people here. Howdy. Do you think it's time to move on? We just got here. Well, haven't we waited here long enough? Many a mile lay ahead of us. Perhaps it's not for us to decide, but it's my opinion that we should continue on our way. Oh, reasonable lady. All right. Uh, Epsom salts, peppermint. Nothing I really need. Yeah. This is winter quarters, where the first group of Mormon pioneers waited for spring until continuing on their way. It was a long, cold, harsh winter, and there was much suffering and death, but they endured. When you feel downhearted, think of those that came before. Draw strength and inspiration from them. I like this guy for some reason. <laughs> hey, a lot of them. What do you know? One coffee pot. I'll just take two. Let's see what we got. Uh, I guess I could do that. Holy cow, they just... Just never stops, does it? <laughs> yeah, what I'm afraid is that when I try to go back, it's not going to be there anymore. Yeah. Probably spare your address, because I don't really need it anyway. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Get 
Doo -doo -doo -doo. Hey, just that one just last time. No, whatever. But no, that's... Really, whatever. Hello! Hello! Hey, chain. Yeah, <laughs> epic hack. Fun stuff, fun stuff. Four pairs of long underwear. Let's haggle. Three bucks. Yeah, we'll do that. Cool. Cool. We can gather in this area. It looks like we're doing pretty good on food, so our ration seems to be doing okay. But just to keep a track on it, uh, let's see. Okay. Just remember the general numbers. Now uh, let's head out. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, that was a bit rainy, though. Alright, let's go. Elkhorn River. Sue's around. Conditions aren't likely to improve anytime soon. We should go ahead and cross the river. Anytime soon. I think we should cross the river now. Who is this person? Weather's not right for crossing a river. We should wait. It's clear. What are you talking about? Let's go ahead and take the ferry. Do 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 do. <gasps> oh no! Yes, Clara. Professor, X Professor Xavier. Thought he was like invincible. <laughs> At least smart enough not to uh to get Clara. Oh geez, let's let's give him some lot of them. Strangers ahead. Oh boy. I don't know if we're well armed or not, cause I don't know what our defense is in this game. They could be what? They could be bandits. Let's get advice. Let's just wait here and see what they're gonna do. Frankly, I don't like the looks of them. Yeah, that's what I thought. I wouldn't mind hearing what they have to say. Could provide useful information about the trail ahead. Let's just wait here and yeah, see, let's see what, what they're they gonna do. All right. Oh, so they leave otherwise. Okay. The Pony Village. Let's go ahead and see who's around. We should continue on our journey. Let's not stop here. We ought to keep moving. We gotta keep it moving. Let's check. Howdy. Howdy. Oh. Howdy. Hey, the music changed within the different tribes. I like that. Howdy. Howdy. Why do you bother me? I don't want to trade. The things we get from the white travelers don't make up for all that we lose. Oh, come on. Don't be a poor sport. We didn't know the whooping cough, measles, or smallpox until your people brought them to us. Our medicine cannot cure these strange diseases, and our children are dying. No, I just want you to leave us alone. Where's your children? Are so nice. Let's say howdy. All right. Why do you bother That's so long. I don't want to trade. I ain't trading with you. Jeez. Can we gather? Yeah, we can. Some sort of weird chrysanthemum or something? Oh, dandelion. Darn, I knew that. Good. Uh, evening primrose. Hey, that looks good. Medicine. Let's look one more time. Okay, cool. We'll keep that. Handbag. It's from poison. No, 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 throw it out, throw it out. <laughs> I don't want that. Plantain. Plantain's always good. Stringy fibers. Let's keep it. Cool. Eight pounds of food. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let's go here and rest here for a day. Oh no. Come on. It's right here all day. Alright, let's go. Don't like traveling in the rain. I heard you found a rock here at Alcove engraved with the name of 
J.F. Reed, May 26, 1846? Did you know him? Well, not exactly. I heard of him, though. He and his family were heading to California with the Donna Party. They decided to take the Hastings cutoff and ended up in a heap of trouble. The Donner Party? I heard that name at the campfire last night. What happened? The way I heard it, the Donners and several other families left Independence in April 1846 with 20 wagons and near 100 folks. You should have seen one of their wagons, a double-decker with a side entrance. It had spring seats, a sheet iron stove, and a whole library of books. Some folks called it the Pioneer Palace. Rain and floods kept them an extra five days at the Big Blue. Then, when they got to Fort Bridger, instead of playing it safe and heading to Fort Hall, some of them took the Hastings Cutoff. Why'd they do that? Hastings Guidebook claimed it would save them time in about 300 miles. But crossing the Wasatch Mountains was slow. It took 18 days to get 30 miles. Had to ditch that big old Pioneer Palace in the Salt Lake Desert. By the time they got to the Sierra Nevada Mountains of California, it was October, and they got caught in an early snowfall. They must have been plum tired and starving. That's right, Cassie. And freezing, too. It was about the worst winter you could imagine. They did things to keep alive that I can't rightly talk about. Yeah, I heard somebody say that they even... That's enough, Jimmy. Some snowshoed out in December, but by the time the relief parties brought the rest out in April of 47, only half of them were left. Half died? That's sorrowful. So that means we've got to take the right trails and get to Oregon for the snowfalls. Right, Captain Jed? Right you are, son. It's life and death out here. The Oregon Trail ain't no picnic. You're the man. It ain't no picnic. All right, uh, let's see what we got. And yeah, we need fishing gear. Let's gather. Um, it's one of evening primrose. Let's go ahead and keep that. That looks not pleasant. Uh, but I don't know, poisonous, so I guess we can keep that. Chokeberry. What the name of chokeberry for? But yeah, okay, let's go. Blackberry. Sweet, keep all of them. Four, four. So about 10 pounds of food, nice. Let's go ahead and uh, <gasps> there's no fairy. There's no fairy. Let's see what's wrong. Howdy, name's Jubilation Higginbottom. If that's <laughs> too much a mouthful, you can call me Julie. And I don't want to hear any smart cracks about that, neither. Hey, Julie. I'm a prospector, but I'm just coming to the realization that there ain't too much around here worth prospecting. So I think I'll move on. Sorry, but I gave up giving advice years ago. Nearly got myself shot back in 32 by a fella who blamed me for his misfortune. All because I gave him some advice. That's true. Let's see what you got. Money. Three bucks. What? Hmm. Gunpowder. Hydrogen peroxide. What? That's new. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and go for hydrogen peroxide. One ox, please. Yeah, I guess we can do one set of clothing. Bam. along the riverbank it reminds me of my garden back home no not at all <laughs> my friends and relations would have a good laugh to see me eating supper seated on the ground we weren't able to fit any chairs or stools in our wagon so filled it was with provisions invite good cheer to keep you company each day that alone has kept us going through some difficult times Let's see what you got all vera eggs blankets trackers out of blocks and plow yeah that's good Anyone else? I don't like the looks of the river right now. Let's wait it for from Howdy. Name oh, yeah, that guy. Right. Let's check the river conditions. It'd be a little tricky. It's only three feet. It's not too bad. Uh I don't I don't know what this does. I guess we might as well try it. Oh man. Oh man. 
Let's go. No, I knew it. I knew it. Tipped wagon. God dang. At least I lost 10 pounds this time. I knew we shouldn't have been going so fast through this kind of terrain. No, shut up. You didn't tell the me anything. Wagon accident. Well, I figure we're seeing the elephant for sure now. Yeah, you. If there are any injuries, we have to make sure the wounds are treated. I knew we shouldn't have been going so fast through this. All right, all right. Let's get it up right. I'm at most terrible luck with like you know fording rivers with wagons. Let's stop real quick. Some chicken or food. I think we're doing fine. Yeah, let's change it to 10 hours per day. Pretty sure our five-year-olds can handle it. <laughs> Alright. Let's gather real quick. Red current. No, my mouse is... Alright, come on, mouse. Keep up. Some sort of weird wild spinach looking thing. Prickly lettuce. Sweet. Give me primrose and something. Uh oh dear. Can't risk that, can we? Mormon Island. Seals around. I think it's time we be moving on now. We've seen many people like you pass this way in your wagons. Some of the others are afraid of you, but I'm not. We're Lakota. This field has wild onions and turnips, and the women and children come here every year at this time to gather them for our families. I met a small group of white trappers once. One of them was sick with what they called the scurvy, but fresh vegetables cured him. All right, uh, we're gonna trade. Try bread, pounds of meat, rope. What? What would you want brandy for? <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, I suppose we can do like a dress, whatever. Oh wow, you have lots of room. All right, we are done looking around. It's a bit rainy, but let's continue. Extreme heat. Oh no. Let's see what the people have to say. Personally, I wouldn't mind stopping for a while, but then again, I'd rather be traveling in the heat than freezing in the winter snows. We can't let a little hot weather get to us. We're liable to see worse than this before we're done. It's already July. We have to stop and rest a bit. It's hotter than a Roman candle at a 4th of July parade. <laughs> can't we slow down? This heat is really getting to me. It's really getting to me. Hot weather get to us. All right. Um, either we slow down or wait for conditions to improve. Uh, but let's just go ahead and wait for a little bit. Snake bite. Oh no! Whoop! How could you? Come on! <laughs> the trying to get suction method. Oh dear. Oh, that's way thing to use is probably in a second. You go messing around where there's a lot of snakes, you're liable to get bit. Serves them right. Hmm. Oh. Cousin, Dr. Dushy. Logan, if I got bit by a snake, I'd sure want to see a doctor. There's no doctor option though. All right, let's go ahead and uh, use the antiseptic. Animals exhausted. All right, well, what's for a day? Oh, come on! One thing after another! Oh, wait for this to improve. Oh no! That's bad. We give him exercise that increases heart rate. Heart rate distributes the poison of the body, and he dies. Come on. I know what to do for a snake bite. Apply a tourniquet. Lacerate the wound and suck out the venom, and keep the patient I tell you, still. I got bit by a snake. I know oh, jeez. Should we? Should we do it? Should we do it? All right, let's do it anyway. <laughs> oh man, Whoop is gonna die. Let's check on Whoop. Oh wait, hang on, let's go back. 
Yeah. I'm doing so well there, whoop. Sue's around. Don't bother me right now. I ain't got time for idle chat. What is that? <laughs> it looks like a hobo wig. He's taking like some backstage dancer wig and like just decorated it with like random garbage. Alright. If you ain't the persistent one, I told you I, I recommend got you get a move to on less than you're camping right here. Not that I'm inviting you or anything. Rude. Good to see you, friend. You know, I spent some time out west, and now I'm traveling back east to fetch my family. What? That'd be another 4,000, 8,000 miles combined. Good for you. Hope you're prepared. You'll be seeing quite a bit of the elephant further on. Since your animals is already mighty worn, it's gonna be rough. Feed ain't always plentiful, and water sometimes right scanty. Hurry along, but don't push your animals too hard. You don't want to get caught by early snow. But if you get too hard with your animals, it won't carry you more than halfway. Let's see what he's got. Hopefully he's got some feed or something. Uh, nothing. Alright. Nope. Pleased to see you. You folks missed a good time last night. Another train camped close by, and we had a bit of a dance. Oh yeah, right, rub it in my face. I declare, my tired feet came to life here I in that declare. I danced a plenty. It feels nearly like back home to have neighbors and a gathering. I've made some dear friends whom I hope will continue to see in years to come. Partake of a bit of music whenever it's offered. It'll lighten your spirits and bring lots of fine memories to carry you through the following day. My heart's so light right now, this washing chore hardly feels like work at all. All right, let's see what you got. Candy, chickens. Uh, hmm. No hail. Ba ba bales? Bales of hay? <laughs> Spoonerism. All right, um, hmm. So we got. Let's talk to this person. All right, I guess we keep going then. Oh, Boop's doing okay. We're almost there. Napkin! Oh, come on. I don't know how pepper, what peppermint does. Uh, let's just keep using it on them while we still have it. All right. Tuesday, May 2nd. We pass through the Narrows today. The trail follows a very narrow path between the Little Blue River on the left and steep bluffs on the right. We'd circle the wagons and I was fixing supper when... Hey, that almost smells good. Oh well, sakes alive. Go wash up, it's almost ready. Where's Jimmy? Probably wandered off with the journal, drawing things like he always does. That Jimmy. He's hankering to show Pa his sketches when we get to Oregon. Jimmy! Over here! I found a snake! Jimmy! <laughs> Lie still. Jed's coming. Cassie, it hurts! Hurry! No time to lose! Here, my belt. Tie it on, Parker. Not too tight now. What's he doing? Grip this rock, Jimmy. Jed's got to open the bite and suck out the poison. Ah! Jimmy will make it. Won't he, Jed? I reckon he'll need to ride in the wagon for a spell. But he'll pull through all right. Oh, thank you, Jed. But it was close. Too close. I drew the snake for it bit me. You want to see it? Now Jet's gonna die thanks to you. All right, let's go into look who's around. Let's talk to this person. Fine scenery around these parts. Okay. Time is a wasting. Let's get out. Fine scenery around these parts. Yeah, we're done. Parts. All right, so we got together. We got some of that chokeberry, I believe. A current, damn it. <laughs> With that memory, some of this weird uh. This will thing one another. Yeah, there we go. Uh, buttercup. 
Oh dear. Yeah, let's toss that out. We don't need that. Clintonia. Named after President Clinton, of course. Just kidding. <laughs> Alright, um, 10 pounds. Nice, nice. Uh, let's see what he's got. Uh, shirt, sassafras. Nope. Uh, muslin cloth, ladle, pickles, onions, tapa do, tapa da. Nope. Looking for some good medicine around here. I'm finding nothing. Bacon boots. Nope. Well, it's gonna be something good to trade around here. Epsom salts. Apparently that seems to be like an option when somebody gets bitten, so we'll go ahead and see what we can use it. Uh, yeah, I'll trade that for a bonnet. All right, we're good. Let's go. No, let's actually let's take a rest for a day. And of course it starts to rain, whatever. We'll go. Dust storm. I don't see how we can keep going. Yeah, we could get lost. We mustn't let anything stop us or slow us down. We I don't see how we can keep going. Morale's still high. And it appears that Whoop is doing okay. Oh no, they're both doing pretty bad. <laughs> kind of like click on them or anything? That's all I can do. Am I supposed to be like... Are these buttons supposed to like administer health or something? I don't know. This game... I guess we'll put it back down to 8 hours. Alright, let's see what we got here. Hmm, nope. Don't want that. And we'll keep that. Some primrose. And what's this? Local weed. Yeah, we'll throw that out. Oh no! Oh no! I picked up poisonous buttercup with. What? It just said that it wasn't poisonous. Come on. Ah. All right, let's let's see what's going on here. We should have at least three full sets of clothing. Blah blah blah. Trade. Keep it warm. I guess it's gonna keep more out, I suppose. All right, let's take a look at diseases. This doesn't really tell me how to administer medicines or whatever. I guess it just comes with time and they'll just uh, start healing up by themselves. So let's go ahead and uh see who's around. I'm going to St. Louis to have me a look at civilization. Look at civilization. The game just ain't <laughs> so plentiful as it once was. And there's getting to be so many people passing by, I might just as well be in a city. Keep your ears open when you're hunting. One of them big cats pretty near got me last week. So busy thinking about my supper, I almost became supper instead. And trade the Indians for some moccasins. Them shoes of yourn are looking worn. Your ears are looking worn. Let's do what you got. Suppose we could use some shoes. Yeah, let's do that. So for someone else. Buen dia. My name is Josefina Iturrieta de Panicelo. What? I am traveling to meet my husband in Texas, but we are taking a long route so that I may see more of this beautiful country. He preceded me there to establish our new rancho near Pasa del Norte. Everything is now ready, so I go now to join him. My husband is a wealthy man with a great deal of land and many herds of cattle. Do not be misled into thinking your good fortune lay in gold or silver. 
precious metals are a scourge. Land is the only sure source of wealth. When you reach your new home, raise cattle or hardy crops. People need to eat. That is the true path to success. Hey, smart lady. Let's see what you got. All right, it's, uh, grandfather clock. Mules, oxen, uh, more pairs of shoes. Right, let's see what you got. Hmm. Two 10 pound sacks of sugar. I guess we can do that. All right. So this person's to got you, to offer. You know, I spent some time out west, and now I'm traveling Hope back east. Alright, talk to you. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> uh, some oats. And quinine. Let's see what you got. Oh my gosh, none of them. That's not worth trading for that. Alright, we're looking around. It's rainy. Let's rest here for about a day. Let's go. I assume go hunting. I haven't tried that yet. Oh, whoa. Okay. What, what, what? Hey, what, what? Okay, this is really wonky. <laughs> well, the bear comes back to attack me. I wonder if they uh, take into account like the amount of time that passes by when you're hunting. It gotcha. Yeah. Woo! Got me a bear. Ninety pounds of game. All right, cool. I don't want to overhunt anything. Go ahead and gather some stuff. All right, we'll keep that. Uh, Soap thistle, lettuce. All right, keep that. The current that and burdock. All right, everything's edible. Nice. So three, four, five billion pounds. See who's around. I think we ought to keep going. Let's keep going. All right. Let's keep going. Let's check out our party, see how they're doing. Oh, they recovered. Nice. All right. So, this will be a good stopping point for today. Uh, we reached the ancient bluffs, and uh, yeah. See you guys next time.